My topic is the uh, clinical value of EMA in the therapy for varicose veins in China. Uh, okay, the, just look at these pictures. I think every doctor should know this is uh, varicose veins. And varicose veins, especially in Chinese, uh, almost uh, the almost the 15 to 20 percent of the adult, um, adult people will uh, will affect by this by this disease. And this disease will affect the limb function and the quality of life. Uh, so from the guideline of the expert uh, consensus, uh, all the active treatment uh, um, will be recommended for this patient. Uh, but if we want to treat a, um, a patient, I think this is the purpose we can, or we need to, to think about. Uh, one, we, we must eliminate the symptoms is for the patient, especially in Chinese, most patients have the severe symptoms. And two, they promote the recovery of ulcers and reduce the recoveries and prevent complications. Um, the last, I think, from the uh, surgery progression, the faster recovery and the reduced cost uh, of the procedure will be the first choice in China. Okay, uh, so um, for every varicose veins patient, we we think the, um, the therapy choice. But uh, first, uh, we 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 will recommend the conservative therapies for the asymptomatic patients, especially the comparison therapy, functional exercise, etc. Uh, but uh, if for the symptomatic patient, I think the surgical therapy will be uh, recommended for the and the first line. In surgery choice is a high ligation, high ligation stripping, laser, radio frequency, EMA, and foam, ex, uh, foam, etc. Uh, okay, this is a surgical pro uh, progress of the record veins. In China, there are some uh, epidemiological data. Almost uh, two uh, two thirds of the patient uh, um, underwent the high ligation and the stripping for the intravenous ablations and uh, endovenous therapies. Uh, laser is account for 60% 60, 60 and I am a 15 a form, 15% and a radio frequency 10%. Then uh, look at the below of the, the, this page. From the halogation to the halogation and stripping and the RFA and the laser and the IMR, uh, this is the history of the surgical procedure of the varicose veins. Uh, from now on, uh, the endo the endo procedure becomes the first choice um, because this is a faster recovery and the lower uh, complications. So, uh, in um, in China, we um, we made the IMA, the endovenous microwave ablation from two thousand and uh, two thousand and C and six. Uh, this picture tells us the micro um, the micro um, the microwave ablations. Uh, who, uh, who 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 generates the, the 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 therapy mechanisms? The microwave tissue heating relies on the interaction of an electromagnet uh, field with water molecules in the tissue. So, uh, the, from this uh, from this uh, this page, we can see the features of microwaves. We use the microwave ablation in animal gel uh, with uh, 50, uh, 50 watt for five minutes. We can see. We can see the obviously uh, ablation hole uh, animal gels. So the EMA, uh, as EMA is endogenous heating, the absolute heat radiation area can better match the V cells, I think. So the EMA has a higher thermal efficiency, faster heating, and moderate thermal penetrations of the microwave ablations from our previously uh, animal animal experiment and the uh, human uh, experiment. So we think maybe the microwave should be the op optional procedure for varicose for varicose veins patients. Uh, uh, so well, I think we should know that I am a history of varicose veins in China. The microwave ablations. Uh, uh, this technique and uh, originated from the tumor therapies as a uh, liver cancer or kidney cancer, uh, etc. Um, uh, 
about uh, in about 15 five years ago, Gulf Force reported the outcome of 28 cases of vehicle wins with uh, tumor ablation equipment. He uh, uh, he told us that these uh, uh, use um, tumor ablation equipment. Maybe the um, vehicle wins should be ablated uh, completely. Uh, and then in 2006, um, Wang and my and, um, and I for the report the result of Veracruz wins with a special microwave surface instrument for um, Veracruz wins in China. And then some bone from Thailand reported the animal and human experiment of the IMA for Veracruz wins with the tum with the tumor equipment in 2009. In in some bones study. Uh, which confirms that the optional optional treatment parameter for the treatment of the varicose veins. Um, from then on, most of uh, the patients uh, we meet, we choose uh, we, we choose the therapeutic parameters uh, um, from the from our experience and the sample uh, literature. Then in two thousand and and the team, our team reports the comparative results of a laser ablation and IMA fluorescence in Chinese patients. And this result has been published in, China, in Chinese journals. And then in 2012, Moore reported an article on, on microwave ablation and laser ablation for varicovines as a retrospective study in Europe Review Medicine Pharma, Pharmacy and Science. And then, uh, as a new technique for the treatment of varicose veins, we think every endovenous procedure should be compared with uh, hydration and shaping. So, in 2013, uh, Dr. Wang and I completed the first RCT study of IMA and its uh, allegations and stripping. Uh, this study has been published in the European Journal of Vascular and Intervascular Surgery. Uh, in our previous result, as uh, we confirmed that IMA have the shorter operation time, less bleeding, less bleeding and less complications, and the lower recurrence rate. Uh, when become, when compared with uh, halligation and stripping. And then the IMR procedure has gradually been widely used in China. This, uh, this is our um, publication. Uh, the, uh, then we should know the international use of IMR. Uh, Dr. Rossos performed the first IMR cases in, in other countries. And Dr. Whitley reported the first IMR case in UK. And uh, who evaluates that the IMA may be a new gold standard endovenous procedures for varicose veins, but the uh, but the study and conclusion should be confirmed. So this is the pro progress and the key points of the IMA in our centers. Uh, if we want to make IMA procedures, we need the IMA stations the IMA wire and needles, ultrasound system, and sheets and caster, uh, tumor center solutions, pump, and bandage all compression stockings. Uh, this, this, per, uh, this procedure is the recommended procedure. Uh, if, if we want to, if we want to, to mix the uh, IMR procedure for patients, uh, I think maybe every case should be under the ultrasound monitoring. And uh, no, first, we puncture, we puncture the great savannah veins, and then we put a sheath and uh, use, mm, uh, put it into the IMR way, and then we, we made the tumor sense technique, and uh, then we ablate the greater savannah veins under the ultrasound um, surveillance. And uh, if we treated the GSV uh, for the varices, or perforators veins below the knee, we can use the IMA, uh, IMA needle for the ablation, for the, uh, ablation of the varices. Then we make the, comp uh, the comparison. So uh, for some patients, maybe we can't uh, pull into pull the wear into the greatest venous veins. So we can use the both approach from the um, uh, uh, 
from this two to proximal or from proximal to the distal, I think the both approach is very useful. And then, if the diameter of the great surveillance veins is above you know, or surrounding the 10 millimeters, I think the high ligation should be used for this patient. And then, MR where with layer point is more convenient for most patients, but um, no, no, not this is a MRWARE without the laser point. Uh, in pre uh, about 10 years ago, the MRWARE has a laser point. Then uh, we can use the IMR procedure for the superficial and varicose veins operators. Uh, first, we should mark the mark every varices before the procedure. Then ablation under the ultrasound monitoring and uh, under the tumor sense. Then we can, for some patients, we can combine with the formal sclerotherapy or other procedures. I think the combination with other therapies should be more convenient. And this is a picture we use. Um, uh, we use the MR and the other and the laser to treat the viruses around the around the ulcers. We can see the this is the MR shortware under the on the sound the moderation, we can use the hypo echo signals. Then, if we ablate the apparatus, we can use the um, thrombosis around the treated wear. Then, uh, I think the most advantage of the MR is uh, the MR for the viruses and ulcers. There is no incisions. We can direct ablation, and the maybe for some patient we can. Uh, we can use the ultrasound uh, selectively, not uh, must be, or we can use the IMR versus um, IMR procedures as a fast procedures. This is a picture we we, we use um, a short way to treat the uh, viruses underlying the ulcers, and this is the pictures we used uh, uh, to treat the um, viruses or uh, ulcers. Then this is the clinical outcome. This is three days and the post operation and three uh, three months. This is a change of GSV under the ultrasound. Before uh, operation, we can see the blood signals of the greater seven veins. And one month and six months, we can't see the blood signals of the GSV. Then this is another case. Uh, we can we can see the I'm aware. Uh, during the operation, this is, um, uh, I'm aware, under the uh, ultrasound. G uh, this is a blood flow, blood flow of the GSV before the operation. And the second day and the two weeks post operations, we can see GSV occluded and no blood flow signals. So uh, in our uh, clinical practice, most of the patients we use the clinical parameters for GSV poor, 40 to 60 words ablation time, three to five seconds, uh, interval two or three uh, seconds. For the viruses, we use the two or 40 words ablation time, two or four uh, seconds, intervals one to two seconds. This is the cl clinical parameter we mostly use. Why we choose this parameter as a therapy parameter? Because in our uh, in our previous uh, experience from uh, of the animal experiment, uh, experiment and the sample experiment, the higher close rate, the higher close rate is at 50 watts or 60 watts. If the pore is above 60 watts, do not increase the close rate of the tree target veins, but will increase the thermal injury of extra luminal vessels. So uh, for some patient, if, especially for patients, the diameter of GSV is above 10 millimeters. Um, according to our limited uh, experience, we think the high ligation and uh, command with the IMR procedure will increase the chlor uh, chloral rate. And this is a post-operation therapy, the conversion, stockings, and follow-up. Um, so from the from two six, uh, 2006, uh, the, um, 
to nowadays, uh, there are uh, there are a lot of um, papers published in Chinese journals and some papers published in international journals. We conclude the complications of MR procedures. The skin burns is uh, is mostly about uh, five to eighteen uh, percent, but more common skin burns and the pumping site. So we can use a lower pore fasting cycle or tumor sense uh, which technique will uh, decrease the uh, incidence of skin burst. And the skin numbness about 10%, uh, but most um, numbness um, will uh, is the temporary accidents, not um, will change into the permanent. And the induration is about uh, 10 to 20%. And uh, almost all every case can recover completely. And the deep vein thrombosis uh, below the 1%, uh, I think we should uh, recommend the patient for the early activities and the selective anticoagulations. And the acchymosis uh, account for 5 to 20%, and most patients could um, recover completely. And a recurrence and 12 months from the published uh, published articles, we can conclude the, uh, the recurrence and uh, one year is about 1 to 10% from the published uh, literatures. So um, from this um, technique used in China, we can made uh, we made some comparative clinical uh, study. Uh, first, uh, we used the IMR uh, compared with the high location uh, stripping and uh, stripping. Uh, we can publish some papers, some paper in Chinese or in English journals. So the conclusion we can see that Emma is an effective technique and had a more satisfactory clinical outcome than halogation and stripping in our center. And then we made some uh, comparative re uh, com comparing result uh, between the IMA procedure and the laser procedures uh, from uh, from other centers and our centers. We can see some uh, study has been published. In uh, according to this, we can we uh, we can we can got we can meet uh, the these these conclusions. Emma has a shorter procedure time, higher closure rates, and lower complications and recurrence rates. Uh, in our study, now just we uh, we are doing some retrospective study. Uh, com we want to compare the Emma and the laser accumulations and so five years. Uh, this study, or this study, should be should be should be concluded. Maybe in the near future we can publish this paper, uh, and someone and some journals. Okay, so because the radio frequency ablation uh, uh, is another first line the recommendation uh, for the treatment of varicose veins, so. Uh, we want to compare the IMA procedure versus and the, and the radio frequency ablation for the varicose veins. IMA and RFA, Z have a different thermal mechanism, mechanisms. And RFA may affect by blood flow, but the IMA didn't. The IMA and the RFA, Z have different thermal time, and the IMA do not need contact with the vein wall and the RFE we need we need RFE to contact with the vein wall. The cost the IM procedures is about twelve thousand yuan in Chinese in, in, in Chinese and the radio frequency ablation about twenty four thousand in Chinese. So there are some difference in China, in, in, in China, so we have the we have this hypothesis. Maybe the IMR procedure has a better outcome than RFE, but we don't have any date. So due to because the late entry of RFE into China, the, uh, about 2018, we can use the RFE equipment in China. 
but we can use the laser or M in two thousand and two thousand and five or six. So uh, till now, there's no literature available for the um, for the com com comparison results of the MR and RFA. Um, however, these RCT trials is doing our center and our centers. Uh, we have to. We want to to do this RCT. So maybe we have and uh, we have the different uh, conclusions in the future. So every result will be confirmed in future. This is this is our um, uh, thinking. So this is our uh, conclusions. Andrew procedures is the first line uh, choice of Frankel's veins, and the IMA has effectively short and made outcomes for the treatment of varicose veins, we think, of, which is a um, very, very useful and effective procedures. Then the comparison results still need to be confirmed because, uh, mm, because till now, we don't have many or mm, we don't have many retrospect uh, prospective uh, cohort uh, cohort and randomized study this is our limiting so we uh, but uh, I think maybe the Emma has a brighter a brighter future thank you this is my my lecture lecture thank you mm -hmm.